Hello YouTube, LJ Draco here. Now this movie review is going to be something a bit more emotional than what we thought. I am not going to add many pictures to this. I'm only adding one picture to this movie in this video. And that's when I explain what the movie is. And in fairness, I'm not um this isn't going to be edited much unless i make some serious mistakes this is going to be just purely me and it's going to be what you get um so yeah there's no mistakes there's no nothing hopefully i can get this done so the review for this movie is going to be lovely bones now, if you're a parent, um, and especially if you've got a daughter, uh, I, I, it affects all parents. So it doesn't mean it does, it's not if you just have a daughter. It's if you have all par like all parents, sorry, it can be affected by this movie. But I guess because of what the story tells, it's going to be more emotional to parents that have daughters. So I'm going to ask this now and let you guys know just so that you can have a heads up. If you do not want to know anything about this movie specifically, it is a spoiler review. Movie um, review. I've never done spoiler reviews properly. But I think this one needs... I can't just tell a little bit of the story and then move away from it. So if you haven't seen this movie but you want to watch it, don't watch this video yet. Please do not watch this video yet. But if you're watching it by this point and you haven't seen the movie, then clearly you don't care about the spoilers, so that's fine. But this video will be unedited and there'll be no pictures, so there'll be no cast pictures or images from the movie. It will just be me talking about this movie. So let's get into the cast. Mark Wahlberg, his best performance in my opinion, only in my opinion, uh, he plays Jack Salmon, who is the father in this movie. Rachel Weiss plays Abigail Salmon, who is the mother. Susan Sarandon plays Grandma Lynn. Stanley, it's either Stanley Tucci or Tucci, uh, is George Harvey. Saoirse Ronan as Susie Salmon. And Reese Ritchie as Ray Singh. So let's get into this now. It starts, it starts off with narration from Susie Salmon explaining who she is. Her age is a 14 year old girl. Her name is Susie Salmon. Like the fish. Which is what she says. She explains about how much she loves photography. When she got her first camera. Uh, when she got. Like when she took her first pictures. And everything just like. The excitement of going around taking images. You know. This capturing moments that. Leave such good memories. And she was talking about it. And when she's, she's riding down her road. And she sees her neighbour. George Harvey talking to her mother and she actually takes a few pictures of him um, by accident when Susie goes to school uh, she's in love with this guy called Ray who is like a British like transfer student who like talks poetry and he's very posh and she's in love with the accent she's in love with the guy she adores every second that he breathes <laughs> um and, you know, she goes to a shopping centre with her grandmother and she sees him there and she's talking about him to her grandmother and her grandmother's like, oh, you know, she's going to say hello to him. She's going to make him know that you're interested in all this stuff. One day before school, it was really cold and her mum, Susie's mum turned around to her and said, you've got to wear your hat and your scarf and your gloves. You've got to wear them. You've got to wear them all. And... On the way back from school, she realised she was late and she was trying to get home early-ish. So she cuts across this giant cornfield. Or this giant that bit of land. Um, but there's no trees, there's no plants. It's literally just field. So it, you can see all the way down straight to the houses. And halfway across, she bumps into her neighbour, George Harvey. And he's like, oh, a bit late, isn't it, from school? Like, what were you doing? And she was just like, oh, I was just studying and whatever. And he's like, oh, okay. And he's like, oh, come over here. I want to show you something. I really want to show you something. Come here. And she's like, no, I've really got to get back. Because I was like, take a second. I've, I've built something for you kids. I just want you to see it. I want, I want you to be the first person to see it. So she's like, okay. She goes over there. And there's this little, like, 
underground bunker that he had built. And she goes down into the bunker and he goes down in there and he shows her like what she what he's built. Like he's got all these toys in there, he's got this little bed and these little seats. So that they, like all the kids can have a sleepover and hide in there and whatever, like away from the adults to just be kids. He's got like a little fridge in there with these cold drinks and stuff. And it starts getting really awkward. He starts like saying that she's pretty and he asks does she have a boyfriend? She says that she likes this boy and he starts getting like annoyed with her. And this is where the spoilers are gonna happen guys, so I'm giving you one chance. One chance to just stop the video and only listen to this bit. Okay? But this is where spoilers take place. So if you watch beyond, beyond this point, it's up to you. She tries to run away. And all you see is the hatch opens and she runs away. And she goes to the house. But the house is empty. And the house is dark and she's screaming. She's screaming for everybody and there's no one there. There's no one there. And she accidentally runs into this one girl on the street. And this girl sees her, but this girl looks really scared when she bumps into her. She looks panicked. And she sees uh, George Harvey go into his house with like a bag. So no one's at home so she runs over to his house to confront him and she finds him in this bathtub like covered like with blood surrounding him and there's this knife that's got blood on it by the table and there's his clothes covered in blood uh, and I think, if I can remember correctly, it's her clothes as well. Well, basic point is she finds out that he actually... He, they wouldn't show the main part of this story, which was that she was physically abused um, as well. But she was murdered. And it turns out that this man had been doing this for a very, very, very long time. So while she is dead, she is trying to find a way to, to get him caught out. Now that's where I'm going to stop it. That's where the review stops. It's just I couldn't exactly review this movie without telling that main point. Because the beginning of the review would make no sense unless I explain the point that she is, she is dead. So I'm going to leave it here. This is one of the most serious reviews I've ever done just because of, you know, yes, it's a, in some what way it's meant to be like a fictional kind of, well, a, a non-fictional story, but it's based on act pure fiction. Like it happens. Oh, I don't even know if I said that right. I'm sorry if, I'm, if I mixed up non-fiction with fiction. Um, just, yeah, just sorry about that. Um, I'm not going to edit that out because I told you this is meant to be just 100% me talking about this movie. It's like what I do in my live streams. I just talk even if I get stuff wrong. I just own up to mistakes. But it's, it's, it's not a true story specifically for this one person but it, it is a true story on many levels it happens to everyone everywhere there are things happening every second like this but it shows so much emotion Saoirse Ronan she plays Susie Salmon very freaking well like Susie Salmon is an American teenage girl whereas Saoirse Ronan is very strongly Irish but she done the accent extremely well. She doesn't break. She doesn't break. Her voice doesn't crack into the Irish. It stays American. But this is, in all sense of the words, an emotional movie. But 
it's just a really well it's just a really well directed movie and it's directed by Peter Jackson he wanted to do this movie it's based from a book I'm pretty sure it's based from a book but she he wanted to he wanted to do the movie and if he can make Mark Wahlberg a likable actor to me through this movie then you know this movie deserves a lot more credit than it already gets so as I was saying, if you if you're still watching, if you're a parent, this movie will it will hit you on a much harder level than it will hit anyone who isn't. But for people who aren't parents, this movie can show you like anytime you become a parent. Or even if you're an uncle and aunt, even if you've got nephews and nieces or grandchildren that you are really close with. That this shit can seriously happen at any moment. And, you know, you just got to keep an eye out. Be safe. I'm going to rate this movie a B. Not because the movie's bad. And not because of it. The movie is, is perfect to tell you the story it needs to be telling. It's just not a rewatchable movie. You can't watch this more than at least once a month. Give or take. Um, just the story is, it, it, yeah, it's not something you can actually go, I want to put this on and watch this, you know, I, I really, it's not one of those. Yeah, it's just, you know, sorry about that, that was the guinea pig. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm sorry this review's dragged on, this review is going to be extremely long. But it gets it gets the B for just being a great movie, and that's what it is. Because the movie is emotional. It makes me cry within the first half an hour, and then I can't stop crying till it finishes. So for a movie to do that, for that to have such an impact on me emotionally, it deserves at least the B. Anyway, that is the end of this video. If you enjoy this video and previous videos. Don't forget to strike the like for future videos. And if you're new to my channel and only seen a couple of my videos, show your support, click that subscribe button. I'd appreciate it. And everyone out there, parents, non-parents, teenagers, adults, be safe. Look out for each other. Look out for yourselves. Stay safe. I'll see you next time.